Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Today we can continue our classes. I hope you have thought a lot about what I said yesterday. I hope you understand what you really have to value, what is really important in each of your lives. The first thing you have to value, in everything you have, is your soul, it is your experience, it's your experiences, it's growth, it's evolution. This all often seems strange to you, it often even seems like a bad thing, when we say that you have to make a choice to the detriment of the other. I understand, we understand perfectly, but do not despair at this moment. A lot is still going to happen. A lot will still change. Many will still become aware, many will still believe everything we are saying. So don't suffer in advance. Don't make decisions, or throw hasty decisions out to the universe. Wait for what's yet to come. A lot is still going to happen. So just trust and wait. We have reached the point on your planet, where wars were incited so that the planet would self-destruct, so that you yourselves would destroy the planet. No, don't imagine that when this started, those beings who promoted everything would stay here. Well, my brothers, what a great illusion of you. Obviously not, they would have left here a long time ago, a long time ago. They would watch peacefully, far away from here. They would only be waiting for the succession of problems that they would have caused in the universe. It's like I told you everything is in balance. If a planet like this suffers such aggression, it would reverberate throughout the universe, and would cause many problems for the planets around it. It really would be a masterstroke, as you like to say. So coming back, I already told you that I don't have a chronology. I go back and forth as I need to tell the story. I'm not concerned here with following a script. I'm not telling a story, and I'm not making any film. So date order for me is not important. Each fact that I mention is important, and then yes, I put it in time. So going back a little to all this movement that happened after the Second World War. All countries began to move to also have their nuclear weapons with that very benign intention, ah, I just have it to protect myself. We all believe this very much. They were really telling the truth. They just wanted to protect themselves. Very good. They forget that we see each other's hearts, that we understand each other's intentions. So for us, it was very easy to understand what the real intentions of all this military power were. And everything went smoothly. The behind the scenes wars going on. So now I'm going to do a separate one about our action on all this. I already told you that the Dark Ones actually created an energy grid around your planet, and, preventing the higher energies from reaching here, preventing you from evolving naturally. No, I'm still not going to talk about the Wheel of Samsara, the Wheel of Reincarnation, that will be for later. For now I am still focused on Gaia. So really, they created this structure, but this structure was never an impediment for us to maintain contact with our representatives on the soil of your planet. So many incarnations of light beings happened over time. I'm not talking about the great avatars. I'm talking about beings of light, those beings who came with an advanced mentality, with a futuristic mentality, and who caused a lot of development on their planet. It's like I said here, there has always been a balance. Evil never fully won. Evil won some battles, but not the war. Yes, evil tried at all costs to put into your minds the idea of power, possession, and n other things that would keep you at war all the time. One of the biggest wars on this planet was based on religion. Many were killed for not accepting what was imposed on them. If you make a parallel with today's world, it is very similar. So I can tell you that many of those who had this in mind, that everyone would have to follow the same religion, are the same ones who today do not accept other religions, and commit the barbaric things they do in the Middle East. Yes, the rhetoric is the same, the meaning is the same, the non-acceptance of what is not what they believe. It's exactly the same thing and it's exactly the same souls. Much has been killed, much is killed, in the name of religion, in the name of a belief that is supposed to be the primordial belief, it is the real belief, it is the truth. However, 
this truth was put to you not by the light beings, exactly by the dark ones, because this was the way to maintain power, this was the way to maintain fear. Always fear. So those who did not follow that religion, like today, who do not follow such religions, are massacred, they are killed, they are eliminated, for being part of something they do not believe in. Notice the parallel, and you will see that it is exactly the same thing. Invasion of cities, indiscriminate killing, barbarities being committed, exactly like back then, like in the so-called holy war. What did this bring to your world? It brought pain, it brought suffering, not liberation. And this was being disseminated by souls over time, and each time these same souls reincarnate, what do they cause? Wars, exactly the same way. So, there were cycles on your planet, in which the same souls reincarnated causing the same things. So my brothers, even in this highly dark scenario, we were always there. We never abandon you. It is not true when it is said that you were abandoned. No you were not abandoned by us. I will remind you again of what I said a while ago, that this planet has become a school planet. So all this suffering, all this movement, would have to be imposed on those who actually wanted to evolve. Remember, you came here to resonate low vibrational feelings. Many returned with the intention of redeeming themselves. So this was also part of the lessons, this was also part of the evolution. How firm were you in your purpose? To what extent were you firm in maintaining yourselves as beings of light, as beings that emanated good and not evil? So, at all times there has always been a conflict, between the good. There was always the other side that disagreed with all of this. And even though it seemed like evil was winning some battles, good, behind the scenes, was setting up its borders again. So it was, over centuries, over eons over thousands of years. Where you were increasingly tested in your faith, in your belief, in your purpose to evolve. As I already said, not to repeat the mistakes for which you were banished, and returned here, sent here. So my brothers, whoever is here today listening to my words, resonating with what I say, throughout all this time, has passed the test, you have come this far. Telling you that you evolved, no. You did not evolve by the will of samsara itself, which did not allow you to evolve, because the time for this evolution would come. But you stood firm, you remained in the purpose of good. And there you are. And there you are. Rejoice my brothers, you have passed these tests, you are here firm and strong, keeping the light in your hearts. So don't blame yourself so much. Don't think that you were horrible beings and that today you are paying for everything. You are not paying for anything, because there is no such thing as paying for each other, there is learning. And you have been learning over time. And there you are. Very well positioned, very well placed throughout this process. So, coming back, we have always been here with you, somehow. There have always been light beings throughout time. A great example, as I already said here, is Saint Germain. Saint Germain comes from a long time ago. His soul reincarnated on the planet several times, to maintain this balance, to keep good circulating on the planet. Like him, many others. Many great artists, many great scientists, who discovered a lot of things, which made you evolve, to the detriment of a whole negative campaign that was carried out by the Dark Ones. How many were killed for heresy, for saying things that didn't fit with what was said at the time, and had to be eliminated. But it doesn't matter, their message was disseminated, and all the evolution that took place on your planet, it wasn't the Dark Ones who brought it, they were people of light implanted here, from time to time, to evolve the planet, bring the technology you needed to stay on your feet. So a good part of your technology, no, it didn't come from the Dark Ones, because for them, you were still in the Stone Age. You wouldn't have evolved at all. Yes, they created many technologies, and continue to do so, to counter all good technologies. They often use the very technology created for good, and contaminate this technology, to reach you. Then realize that you were never abandoned. 
If you had been abandoned, literally by the light, you would no longer exist, you would have already been eliminated. Because each of you is an evolved soul. Today you suffer attacks. Why? Because they know the power that their souls have. While you were trapped in what you call the Matrix, everything was fine, you were controlled by them, to a certain extent, because we never stopped being next to each one of you, who kept themselves in the light. We were always around. With this era now, the era of evolution, things have intensified. They realized that the vast majority of you were awakening, and that was not good for them. Then let's attack. Let's make all these evolved souls die and leave, no, don't give strength to this ascension process. And that's what they've been trying to do. I already told you and I'll say it again, whoever is following the path, I'm not just talking to myself here, whoever is following the path of ascension, whoever is preparing, whoever is positioning themselves, is protected. Ah, but I have been suffering attacks. I have already explained, this is all a great illusion. Yes, you may experience attacks if you keep your vibration low. Then, I remember again, we can't do anything. But if you keep your vibrations high, and you are attacked, that is not real, that is an illusion, that they make happen so that you lose belief in us. As if to say, well, all the protection you have was of no use, we are here. Pure lie because they are not there. That is an illusion for you to believe in that. These are the famous holograms, which they have how to make appear, how to make noise, how to make it explode, as if it were exactly there. But they aren't. It's pure illusion. So many of you get carried away, thinking you are being attacked every day. I just say the following, the more afraid you are of this, the more you are actually attracting the attacks, because then it starts to stop being an illusion, to be true, because you have entered into their game. Now if you simply look at that and respond, I am protected. I am light, it's over, it won't affect you. Of course they will keep trying, because there will always be that day when you are not well, when for some reason you have a lower vibration, and then they can act in a more intense way, to cause more imbalance. And then yes, they truly manage to arrive. So be careful with what you vibrate. Be careful how you react to attacks, because if you react with fear, that's exactly what they want. And then the attacks will become stronger and stronger, because they realized that there is a weakness there, the attacks stop being holograms and become real. So my brothers, I have nothing more to say to you, you already know everything and you already know exactly what to do. You will only be attacked if you allow it, otherwise you will not be attacked. It will just be an illusion. So, we have stood by you all this time. Some people maintain direct contact with us, because this grid prevented energies that arrive from the central sun, but not ours. There is no barrier for us. We were always there, next to each one of you, because we knew the mission that each of these souls would have to fulfill, that mission that when you came here, you set out for yourself, which was to learn, live this entire experience of the third dimension, live all the feelings, suffering, and when the golden age arrived, which is the current era, you would take your positions. This was an agreement that was made with you, and many of you are fulfilling it. Many don't believe, don't understand, don't want to know. It's everyone's choice. The time will come when the soul will speak louder, because it has a commitment, and every soul wants to evolve, no soul likes to sit still, of incarnating and reincarnating, and always remaining at the same level. No, souls like to evolve, because it is good for them. Because it is a trajectory of the soul's existence, evolution. This is the goal of every soul, to evolve. And rest assured that all of you who have spent this long period here on this planet have learned your lesson. You know exactly every feeling that you felt. Today, you still don't remember, but you will remember, and be sure, that as you evolve into the fifth dimension, you will be terrified of imagining that you will one day be able to return to the third dimension again, because you lived this way for a long time, thousands and thousands of years. This is more than learned, more than a lesson past. 
it is not possible that you still want to resonate these feelings. You are already tired, you are already calloused from going through the same suffering several times, because your souls simply forgot what they had already learned. So, this story that you reincarnate to learn, to review the past lesson, this is a pure lie. That's not how it's done. You repeat the lesson because you forgot, they forgot that you already went through it and learned. And then you repeat the same mistakes again. Then many will ask me, so during all this time no soul evolved? None. I can say, very few have evolved, few had the strength to realize that this was all a trap and rebelled, and managed to get out. Because the fourth dimension for you became the stage of lies, the stage of illusion, where you passed by and were afraid of what you saw. Yes, those who had a higher vibration did not go to certain places in the fourth dimension, but returned exactly, because they had lessons to learn. Then you realize that everything was in balance. The fourth dimension was controlled by the dark ones, so that it increasingly potentiated those negative sides of the soul, that was never meant to fix anyone. Some souls were the most evolved and did not remain on the threshold, which you call it, and these souls were received by beings of light. Yes, we were there, remember? Many of us explained to the souls what was happening, but throughout the process that you had to go through, until this moment of evolution, you returned. So we never stopped participating in this process. Ah, but you couldn't evolve these souls. No, because everything has a time. The agreement was for you to live here, on this wheel of samsara, until this current moment. So, it's not just that the dark ones took over this whole process, and we were left out. No, it wasn't like that. We were watching over you all the time. Then those souls who remained in good, on the path of good, and who did not have the frequency to stay on the threshold, passed to a higher point, not for the fifth. It is as if there were two layers in the fourth dimension, a lower layer, where those spirits that resonate with the lowest frequencies were located, and an upper layer, where the most evolved souls were, the souls of good. So you learned a lot, but when you returned, when you entered the incarnation again, then you fell into the dark trap again, which was oblivion, and then it all started again. So my brothers, nothing was done on just one side. Good and evil have always existed in balance. You were never abandoned, we were always here with you, taking care of souls that had a high vibration. Much of what you read in your books, in psychographics, is real, it is true, there really are schools where you learned a lot. There was an evolution of you with each incarnation, yes, but when you returned to the dense atmosphere of the planet, you ended up forgetting everything. So many things that you decided upon incarnation, you decided based on what you had already learned. You thought you had to re-resonate those feelings that you provoked for them to evolve. Then many will ask, hey, but if you taught the souls that it wasn't like that, why did they do that? The teachings had a certain limit. Understand my brothers, you had to be kept here until this moment. I don't want anyone here to judge themselves, why you have participated in so many incarnations, so many teachings to learn. Many times, in the many incarnations you have had, you have come as people who have changed your environment, as people who had a voice, important people, who made your world evolve. So understand, you didn't reincarnate just to pay for your mistakes. You reincarnated, reincarnated, to evolve your world, because each time you came with a little more knowledge, because this was passed on to us, and with each incarnation you applied new ideas to your world. And that's how your world evolved. How do you think you have evolved? It wasn't one, or two, or three, who were strategically placed in your world that made the entire evolution. You received many teachings, and each time you came back to incarnate, you remembered these teachings and applied them to your world. So it's not just suffering that you experienced, yes, you had incarnations of a lot of suffering, incarnations other than not so much, others with no pain at all, this alternated over time. Exactly what you thought you needed to go through to evolve, within your conception. Remember you have free will. So when you made a decision to want to return to suffer, 
to this, to that, we respected it, because it was your decision. We cannot intervene. So realize that you did a great job. You didn't go through all this time just suffering, reincarnating, coming back and fighting, no, you evolved this planet, you made this planet what it is today. With all the mistakes and successes that you have made, influenced by them. But look what you have today. Look at your past time. Look at past ages. Look at your planet today. It wasn't the dark ones who did this, it was you. All evolution, all technology that evolved your planet were made by beings of light. Of course there are those who did it, but they did it, they didn't do that much work so they simply contaminated what you did. But you were the ones who did it. So applaud yourselves, because you are victorious, you are winners, you have evolved Gaia. All the negative side of this development, yes, was due to them, because they manipulated you, and you ended up playing into their game, because that's all they do, manipulate. But you made the development of this planet. Then you are worthy of applause. You didn't stop in time, and who was all this development taught by? Each time you disembodied, you went through a small evolution and brought that evolution here. So when we tell you that you have not evolved, you have not evolved in dimension, not in knowledge, not in technology, in good things for your planet. You developed this. Yes, you have evolved, and a lot, and they learned and learn more and more. So start observing what I have been saying from the beginning, ever since I started these stories, Good has always been balanced with evil. Don't think that everything that is there was done by them, because it wasn't, it was you who did it, it was you who vibrate light who did it. Since when has evolution been evil? Evolution towards good things is a good thing. It's evil when that evolution brings harm to someone. Yes, but I repeat, they did little, they only contaminated what you did. And then things got distorted but you were the ones who did it all. I'm going to talk more deeply about incarnation and reincarnation. Today was just a small one, on the side. What I want is for you to have more and more love for yourself, may you have, not that pride of wanting to appear better than the other, but may you be proud of your souls, proud of what you did, because what is there today was you who did it. So your planet is there today the way it is. It's pretty. Yes. Your planet is beautiful, it's just not balanced, precisely because of the intervention they made in everything you put together. I will talk about this later. I am Archangel Michael. I am trying to bring to each of you the importance that you have in this process, so that you are not just degrading yourself, thinking that you are inferior souls, because you made a mistake. Yes, you made mistakes, but look what you did over time.